base, eight, place values. The place values that we use in our everyday math is base 10. In the first column, we have ones. The column to the left of that is tens. To the left of that is hundreds and then thousands. And the way we get that is we multiply by 10. We keep going this way, multiplying by 10. 1 times 10 is 10. 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 10 is 1,000, and so on. It's based off of tens and multiplying by tens going to the left. Going to the right, if we had a decimal point, it would be one-tenth. So we'd be dividing by 10. Multiplying by 10, dividing by 10. Well, in base 8, we do the same thing except we use 8s. Okay? We multiply by 8. So, in our very first box to the left of a decimal point, we'd have 1s. But on the very right of it, we'd have 8s. To the right of that, we'd have 64ths. Now, going this way, instead of 10, we'd have 8. Instead of 100, we'd have 64. Instead of 1,000, we have 512, because we're multiplying by 8. See? 1 times 8 is 8. 8 times 8 is 64. 64 times 8 is 512. 512 times 8 is 4,096, and so on. And we would just keep going this way, multiplying this number by 8. So if I said that you've got this number in base 8, it means you have 1 8 and 4 1s. 1 8 and 4 1s would be 12 to our place value base 10 system. But in base 8, it would be written as a 1 and a 4. Let's say you had the number 513. What you would do is you would put a 1 here for 512, okay? No 64s, no 8s, but a 1 because you've got 513. You get 512 plus one more. So to say 513, you say 1,001. 513 would equal 1001 in base 8. See how that works? If you had 497, you'd get one of these, zero of these, and a 1 to get 4,097. See how that worked? So you multiply by 8 on this side of the decimal point. You divide by 8 on the right side of the decimal point. So these would be eighths. So if you had 3 eighths, it would be in this column. Once you got smaller, it would get into 60 fourths. It would be in this column. And that's how the fractions and decimals would be set up on the, left, on the right side of the decimal point. And it would get smaller and smaller. You'd go from 60 fourths to 512 ths as the next column over. So that's base 8. Just keep multiplying on the left of the decimal point times 8 for each of these numbers and you'll be able to get your base 8 table made. That wasn't that hard, was it? We're going to discuss base 7 next. Probably by now you can figure out how that table would be made. See you there.